Choosing your boiler, a guide to the three boiler types. Expert tips from a gas safe engineer. Hello, my name is Rhys Powell, Director of Operations at Warmzilla and GasSafe Registered Engineer. I wanted to talk to you about how you make sure that when you are looking to buy a boiler, that you know what the three main types of boilers that are commonly sold in the UK. What are the three types of boilers? There are three main types of boilers that you can have installed in your home. These are combi or combination boilers, heat only, aka regular or conventional boilers. System boilers. Now you know the three types of boilers, you may have some questions such as what boiler type do I have? Or should I swap to another boiler type? We'll break down each boiler type for you and you should know enough about the boiler types to answer these questions. And if not, please get in touch and our experts will be able to help. What is a combi boiler? A combi or combination boiler is a single unit that provides your home with heating and hot water. There are no tanks or cylinders attached to these boilers and they are the most popular boiler in England with 54.8% owning one as of 2019 according to Statista. How does a combi boiler work? A combi boiler works by being connected directly to the mains cold water and can heat the water as needed inside the unit. It heats the water using a component called an integral heat exchanger and when you expect hot water, it instantly heats up the cold water from the mains as it passes over it. Combi boiler advantages. The advantages of having a combi boiler are, you get instant hot water and heating. They take up less space as they don't have a separate tank. They're easier to install because you only need to install one unit. They're more efficient with new combi boilers claiming over 90% efficiency. Due to this efficiency, they may help lower your bills. Easier to maintain because the combi boiler is so popular, nearly all engineers are trained on how to work on them. Fresher water, as the water hasn't been stagnant in a tank. Combi boiler disadvantages. Of course, like with everything, there are disadvantages to a combi boiler. There can be pressure problems. As the boiler functions directly into the mains, it is reliant on the pressure of the main supply being consistent. If there is a poor flow rate, this can be an issue. Flow rate can drop if it is pulled from more than one source, so multiple bathrooms and showers sourcing water can cause the flow rate to drop. Combi boilers don't work with power showers as this shower type relies on a hot and cold water feed from a gravity-fed system. Due to the nature of the combi design, there can be more potential for things to break. Who is a combi boiler for? A combi boiler is a great option but in particular it would suit a home that is smaller, with only one bathroom. The home would ideally have 10 or less radiators and have no loft to put a hot water tank in. Choosing the right boiler size is key to keeping your home warm and energy efficient. If you're unsure about which kilowatt boiler is best for your home, Warmzilla makes finding the perfect match easy. Click the link below to get a personalised boiler recommendation today and let us help you make the right choice. And if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. We're always happy to help. Heat only boiler. What is a heat only? Regular or conventional boiler? Heat only boilers are one of the oldest types of boilers that you'll find in households and are also known as regular or conventional. In the boiler industry, we call them heat only simply because they produce hot water for central heating but not for hot water outputs like sinks, taps, baths, showers, etc. The heat-only boilers require a larger cold water storage system in your loft space and a hot water cylinder tank, which is used when you need a hot water output. How does a heat-only, regular or conventional boiler work? The cold water tank is filled from the main supply and feeds into the hot water cylinder, where it is warmed up by a heat exchanger in the boiler. A pump sends the hot water through the central heating system to supply radiators, taps and showers. Heat only, regular or conventional, boiler advantages. The advantages of a heat only boiler are, they are cheaper to replace generally, though the market and demand can change this. Lots of outputs can be used with hot water available to multiple taps and outputs. 
Heat-only boilers don't rely on mains pressure, so the pressure is better. You can have a redundancy in place if your boiler breaks down, with an electrical immersion heater installed. This means that if your boiler breaks, you still have access to hot water. Heat-only, regular or conventional boiler disadvantages. The disadvantages of a heat-only boiler are they aren't as efficient as combi boilers as there is heat loss during the storage of water in the cylinder. They do take up more space as the system relies on a tank and the boiler. You'll need to wait for hot water as the cylinder needs time to heat up. Once the water in the tank runs out, it needs to refill before you can have more hot water. They can be more expensive to install if you don't already have a water tank. So who is a heat only, regular or conventional boiler for? A heat only boiler is a great option, but it is particularly suited to older households that are larger, have more than one bathroom and have low mains pressure. What is a system boiler? System boilers are similar to heat only boilers. They need a hot water cylinder. The difference is that they do not need a cold water tank and the components, pumps and valves that are separate in heat only are built into the design of a system boiler. How does a system boiler work? System boilers combine a hot water tank, cylinder, and the boiler to provide the heating and hot water to your home. System boilers do not have cold water tanks like heat only boilers and are essentially a more advanced upgrade to how the traditional heat only boilers work. System boiler advantages. The advantages of a system boiler are System boilers have many of their components internalized. This means that the amount of space it takes up is less. Less components externally also means that the system boiler is easier and faster to install. System boiler disadvantages. The disadvantages of a system boiler are it shares a pressure issue with the combi boilers in which the functionality is dependent on the mains pressure. A system boiler is a good heating system particularly for homes that don't have low mains pressure and for whom the central heating system is more modern or up to date. At Warmzilla, we're here to help you find the perfect boiler for your home, whatever the budget. If you're ready to make the switch, we make the process stress-free with quick online quotes and expert installation. Click the link in the description below to explore our range of boilers and get started today. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. We'll be happy to help.